What's going on people? Welcome back to Yogano Art Family and today I'm going to be doing an updated tutorial on how to scan your artwork. So right here we have a comic page from my own comic Alska and what we're going to do now is uh, set the color format to black and white and set the DPI to like 600, the JPEG, you know you just want to set it to a JPEG for the file type. Uh, and once you scan it, it in black and white, then you know you should get a preview. Um, first you want to like you know adjust this tool to your liking, to how to how you to, to the space that you want the comic to scan, or to the space that you want your JPEG to um to uh, come out in, so that you can edit it on another software, or you can edit it here. So right now it should be on black and white and now we're going to scan it so previously I had uh, previously I was using uh, very weak inking tools therefore my uh, artwork would not pick up the line work would not pick up so I was using like kind of a uh, the Sakura Micron crons to ink the characters and such but it wouldn't like uh, it was just very weak while I erased it so some of the uh, the line work would disappear which is why I would avoid the black and white previously but um, when you but I switched to uh, this uh, the leader ink and the leader ink is very you know is very thick it's very shiny you know and it really sticks to the paper uh, and it can show when you um, scan it in because that shininess will pick up in the scanner and that will add that you know thickness to it you know and the line work wouldn't really disappear as much if it were like something that was much more you know weaker like um like um secure microns however they do have secure microns do have their um their likeness because you can do like l tiny little fine details that wouldn't really matter much for, for it to pick up because i still do use secure microns for the uh the tiny details in the characters in the backgrounds and, and all that other stuff but if you want to, but I would recommend to if you want your characters to really pop up, you should use you know the leader ink or so. So, okay, so this is what the this is what the which is what your page would look like in black and white. As you can see, it looks completely different from the uh, pages before. I c can't really zoom in for this, so this is what it looks like here. Um, so right now but like previously I would go go to grayscale and then do to like go to like change the contrast to 50 or so however you, you may still have some pencil marks but you know it's, it's recommended that you go that I um that you go for you know black and white so this is another way to do it and the previous way I was also doing it was that I would just scan it in without really editing much on the uh the scanner I, w I wouldn't edit much I'll just have it on color I'll just have it on color and 300 dpi and all that other stuff you know the contrast is zero it wouldn't change much I would have it at its original default state I would scan it I would bring that JPEG image onto here so this is what it would look like uh, so once that JPEG image is on your Photoshop file you may want to open it look for it wherever you saved your your file as you know so that file would probably be you know right here you open it and then it will come up on Photoshop so what I did was change up the levels uh, the, the the levels I changed up the levels I think previously it was called level adjustments I think I'm, I'm not sure but um, now there's levels but um, I was changing up the levels and now you'll see that the uh, the line work kind of becomes a lot more cleaner here you know and you may still have some pencil marks here and there but you can do it this way as well you know you may want to like you know kind of edit it even more if you wanted to um but yeah i i like the uh i like the black and white i like just scanning it on black and white now with the deleter ink so you know this is one way to scan your um comic page i'm going to pause the video and show you another way so and so this is how you would scan your colored artwork here 
you know, you would change, change the format to color, you know, JPEG, whatever you would like, you know, the DPI could be 600 or 300 or so. Your brightness and contrast, you can, you can probably change that to, uh, to negative seven, negative seven to 78, but you really won't, but it will take a very long time for me at least to, you know, constantly check out if I like the, uh, the, uh, the image that they displayed due to the change of values you know because I'd have to constantly hit preview and then the scan will constantly have to load so I mean if you if you have a set uh, set values for that you use for all your colors then I guess this you I would recommend that you scan it like this and change the colors like as as you want here but I'm gonna do it a different way so I'm just gonna do it from zero to zero you know the default but i'm going to make sure that it's on color it's 600 dpi and jpeg and all that other stuff so you know what i would do now is just you know adjust this to, to my liking which i already did then i would scan it then i would have a jpeg and this is what it looks like if it's blown up so i have already imported the jpeg onto my photoshop document this is what it looks like so i'm going to go to my brightness and contrast then I'm gonna edit this to like uh, my liking. Yeah, from one to two, you're gonna change this to the contrast to 70, 70, 72, and then you're gonna change the brightness to like you know 10 or so to make the uh, the uh, thing pop out more. You know, and you know it doesn't have to be exactly these numbers. You can like you know play with it to your own liking if you wanted to. But that's too much. You can have it like this, I guess. You know. Or you can have it like super bright, doesn't matter. But um, you know, you just want to have it generally right here, you know, so that the colors could like stick out more. You can do it on the uh, the scanner thing, as I showed you. But you know, right here you have much more. You can see a lot more things. So that's how you make your color image pop out. Okay, and um, for the scanner that I use here so I use this scanner the Mustang okay I use this uh, this is good for comic pages and I heard it wasn't that good for scanning color but I heard it was really good for, for scanning line work and this is a flatbed scanner it, um, if you want to look for other scanners just make sure just be sure that it's, it's a flatbed scanner you know and do your research on you know good flatbeds but um this is the scanner that was that was recommended to me uh, I did have an issue at some point the uh, ribbon inside the scanner would jam and you know I didn't I couldn't find a correct t tutorial on how to fix this scanner jamming thing so I had to figure it out by myself uh, to disassemble the scanner is not really that difficult I could do a tutorial on that but yeah the this is this disassembling part isn't too you know haywire you could probably figure it out yourself if you you know by any chance have a jammed Mustang scanner, you know, you don't have to buy a new one. I thought I had to buy a new one. To, I, to, I thought I had to pot and pay another three hundred dollars or so. This was I heard. I heard this was previously like a hundred dollars or so, but the price, you know, just ramped up. But um, yeah, yeah. Um, the DPI, you know, you can do like three hundred. You could find a flatbed that does like three hundred to six hundred. I think that's just what I use for. Yeah, that's just what I use for the um the comics. I know some people that that go higher, or so. But yeah, this is the tutorial on how to scan your your artwork. You know, for color and for inking. And you know, leave a like, comment, subscribe. If this helped. And peace out, people.